Clinic. I'm Casey Rochford. Again, not a doctor, just a biologist. And uh, I wanted to go over some misconceptions about the COVID-19 being just another flu. It is not. Um, just because something has similar symptoms does not mean it's coming from the same disease or virus or whatever. Um, the, there's many different things that can cause a lot of the same symptoms. I won't go through the list because it's it's pretty exhaustive. I mean, there's, there's more things that can go wrong with us than ways that we can tell that they go wrong. Coughs, vomiting, sneezing, runny noses. These can be caused by anything from allergies to the flu or worse. And so I wanted to go over exactly why, even though the symptoms may not be that much different from the flu, why it's so important to take it seriously. You don't need to panic, but um, you know, staying at home is not panicking. Staying at home is being prudent and, and very cautious and, and smart. Uh, panic buying toilet paper, yeah, that's a panic. What I wanna go into right now is, um, and I thought a visual might make this easier, is um, here we see the flu and COVID-19. COVID-19 has uh, not only a, a different shape, but um, you know, the surrounding edges of, of the flu and COVID-19, they have um, binding spots for antibodies. And when we get a flu or any foreign uh, invader in our bodies, our immune system creates or, you know, these antibodies. What we do is after we defeat that particular virus in this case, uh, the stuff hangs around in our body and remembers. So the next time it sees that, it can respond quicker and better and get you through it okay. Uh, so when a mutation occurs, it's a good idea to get the most recent vaccine because We've got people working on this all the time, trying to predict what the next mutation will be so that there's a vaccine ready, so that we can introduce all these uh, essential components to combat the, the new version of the flu. But uh, the great thing about the differences here is that we have a, a really strong uh, immunity built up to the flu because conserved genes, basically, uh, things that get carried over from one to the other. So you see that a lot of the, uh, the, the new flu here is pretty much the same, and so our existing antibodies will continue to attack it. But when we introduce you know, a, a vaccine, it has a, an increased chance of being as effective as it needs to be. And uh, you know another mutation might come along, and you know the same process uh, has to has to be done. And then let's say like a really new flu shows up with all kinds of different mutations. At least if there's that conserved gene, we have that fighting chance with the existing antibodies, and they can you know, latch on and do their stuff. So where this is all going is that COVID nineteen. We have none of that, and we don't have a vaccine yet, uh, and that'll probably be a good year and a half um, because we have to make sure that the vaccine isn't dangerous because we don't want to make things worse. <laughs> uh, so you know, safety is is a top priority. You know, because we haven't dealt with this before. It's, it's zoonotic. It came from an animal. And, and it is now transmissible uh, human to human. Add to that, uh, there's no herd immunity because there's no vaccine. Herd, herd immunity basically means 
because there's people who can't get a vaccine because of various immune system disorders or um, just age, like maybe too old or too young, uh, those people get protected by everybody else who can get the vaccine, getting the vaccine so that they aren't carrying around this disease. Here we, again, don't have that ability with COVID-19, so there is no herd immunity. So three main points I wanted to make here. COVID-19 is not the flu. Uh, two, when the COVID-19 vaccine becomes available, get it if you can. And by if you can, I mean if you're physiologically capable of getting it, not if your religion lets you or if your wackadoodle uncle says that vaccines are mind control. Don't listen to any of that. The third point that I, I think I really need to drive home because I think it might be getting forgotten or um, people are scared of it or something is keep getting your regular flu vaccine. Keep getting that flu shot. And uh, because it can only help uh, reduce the amount of illness that's out there. While we're at it, let's keep this hand washing routine up after the COVID-19 threat is, is diminished. Um, why not? reduce the amount of deaths from flu as well. Uh, it's not that we don't care that more people die from the flu. Um, in, fa in fact, let me digress really quick and talk about that. We don't have enough tests out there to accurately identify who is and isn't dying from COVID-19, let alone how many people actually have it. So, uh, and it hasn't been around that long. So the numbers that we're seeing uh, may not add up to the total number of annual deaths that we see from the regular flu, but that's to be expected from something brand new that we can't even identify in each and every person yet. So if, if you do the math, um, it's actually looking like it's a little bit worse for the reasons I mentioned earlier in the video. So, uh, yes. COVID-19 is not the flu. Get your COVID shot when it comes available. Keep getting your flu. And I think that's about it.